stop by the construction site for the 301-304 overpass to get a quick progress update. In case you're not familiar with the project, construction for a new interchange along US 301 at MD 404 to replace an existing intersection began in fall 2014. The new interchange will include a two-lane bridge carrying MD 304 over US 301. Two single-lane roundabouts will be built along MD 304. The new interchange will provide safer travel through the area by separating traffic traveling along US 301 from traffic along MD 304. The project will also enhance access to the local middle and high schools. The interchange was Queen Anne's County's highest transportation priority and is strongly supported by the citizens group Support Overpass for Students. Bob Ragger, District Community Liaison for the State Highway Administration, showed us around. We started with the median construction where we can see the overpass starting to take shape. So can you explain what's happening here with the piers and what's going to be happening next? Sure. This is our median pier for the 301 overpass. And this is one of those things people have been driving by for months and months saying, when are we going to see something that looks like a bridge? This is, I think, the first good sign for people that we're well on our way to getting this done. This is going to carry the steel for the overpass across 301. And what we have here right now is crews are working on the pier cap. they got to put this big metal form up on top. They're going to put reinforcing steel inside. And probably in a couple of days, they'll have it ready to pour concrete. They'll be pumping concrete up there form the pier cap, let it cure for about a month, and then they'll strip the form off, and then you'll see that nice, shiny new concrete pier cap, and then we'll be, uh, won't say done in the medium, but it'll certainly look like a bridge. If you look off to the side here, we have these big fill areas, we did big mounds we just put up here the last couple of months. These actually have to settle for a couple of months. We want to measure and make sure nothing's going to sink too far once we start putting the roadway and the bridge on it. So we're standing on this big pile of dirt. Can you explain what, what has to happen with it? Sure. This is the east side bridge approach area. It's what we call the abutment fill area. Uh, this is actually what's called a quarantine area right now, which means we can't do anything until we spend about, oh, maybe three months watching the dirt settle. So when we talk about that, we're talking about something like this. This is one of the most important construction barrels you will ever see because underneath this is what we call a settlement plate. And there are a bunch of these scattered about the construction area. Uh, surveyors come out, they measure these every couple of weeks, check to see how the dirt's moving, how fast it's settling, how far it's settling. And when we're confident that it's not going to sink very much more, we know we can start building the road on top of it. So if everything goes well, and right now it's looking real good, if it all goes well with the quarantine period for that settlement, we're going to start forming and pouring the abutment walls, which are basically the end walls for the bridge. We'll have one on each side of 301. And then once you see those go up, you'll see steel coming across here in a couple of months, and it will really start looking like a bridge then. While on site, Bob also showed some of the extraordinary steps Shaw was taking to protect the environment and local waterways. So can you explain where the water comes from and kind of the pattern of the water flow? Sure. What, what we have here is basically a source of mill stream branches just to the east over here across 301 northbound. So that starts out there. What, what used to be here was an old metal pipe that ran into 301. This is what's called a box culvert system, and this was really, really a really important part of the project. It does, serves a couple of purposes. Number one, it actually carries the stream across 301, and we were able to, to build this while the stream was still flowing across 301. To do this, we had to put a, a pump operation into effect, and a lot of people don't know, but when they were driving up and down 301 last year when this thing was under construction, everybody saw the single lane closure, paid attention to the traffic. Well, what we were doing down here at that time was building this system and also running a diesel pump 24-7 to keep Millstream branch flowing all throughout the year while we were doing this construction. And it's very, very important environmentally because Millstream Branch, of course, runs into the Corsica River. So we want to make sure we, you know, we, we respect the environment, not just in final build out, but during all phases of construction as well. So right now we're overlooking the mitigation area. Can you explain what that is and why it's important to the project? Sure. What we have right now over here, this is actually, uh, it's a staging area. It's a stockpile area. So you see a lot of dirt going in there, a lot of dirt coming out. We're able to stockpile dirt in this site right here so they can move it onto the actual bridge construction site a lot quicker. But ultimately, this is going to be what's called an off-site wetland mitigation area. So when all the work is done here, that's going to be, you'll see vegetation there. You'll see a little bit of wetlands there. It'll look like nothing ever happened there when we're done. Thank you to the State Highway Administration for giving us a tour of the site today. Stay tuned to QAC-TV for more updates on the 301-304 overpass. For QAC-TV, I'm Mallory Drummond.